In the dazzling tapestry of celebrity lives, there exists a name that resonates with charisma, talent, and an unquenchable thirst for laughter Eddie Murphy. The very mention of Eddie Murphy conjures images of a man whose infectious laughter has echoed through the halls of comedy history, but what lies beneath the spotlight's glare? Join us as we peel back the layers of his intriguing existence, exploring not only his colossal net worth but also the treasures he has amassed, from a dazzling car collection to a mansion that whispers tales of opulence. Eddie Murphy's life is a narrative spun from dreams and ambitions, and it's time to unveil the secrets behind this legend's extravagant lifestyle. In the heart of New York City, a star was born in the year 1961. He arrived as Edward Regan Murphy, but the world would soon come to know him simply as Eddie. It was a city brimming with life, where comedy was the heartbeat of the streets, and young Eddie found himself irresistibly drawn to its magnetic pulse. As a mere child, the flicker of humor ignited within him. And by the time his teenage years arrived, he was already stepping onto the hallowed stage of stand-up comedy, the proving ground where humor's alchemy was honed. Yet, it was the 1980s that cast a radiant spotlight upon him, a decade where Saturday Night Live became his meteoric launching pad. Within the electrifying confines of that iconic show, he morphed into a comedic dynamo, birthing unforgettable characters that etched their laughter-laden footprints in the annals of comedy history. But the stage was just the beginning for Murphy, for the silver screen beckoned with irresistible allure. 48 Hours, Beverly Hills Cop, The Nutty Professor, Trading Places, each a rung in the ladder to cinematic stardom, and he ascended with an effortless grace. Time unfurled its wings, and Eddie Murphy's star continued to ascend, illuminating Hollywood's skyline with a brilliance all its own. Coming to America, The Nutty Professor 2, Dr. Doolittle, Norbit these were but a few chapters in the epic tome of his career. Yet, his talents weren't confined to acting alone, for he serenaded the world as a singer and lent his voice to the whimsical donkey in the beloved Shrek franchise. In the grand tapestry of cinema, Eddie Murphy emerged as a luminary, a titan whose films reaped box office harvests that few could rival. His name became synonymous with success, and in the corridors of cinema's highest echelons, he strode as one of the highest-grossing actors in history, his fortune mirroring his unrivaled talent making him a perennial fixture among the world's highest paid actors. Current Mansion Since the dawn of the new millennium in 2001, he has called a magnificent Beverly Hills estate his home. This opulent residence graces an expansive four-acre canvas, where grandeur knows no bounds. Its imposing facade stands as a sentinel, enshrouded by meticulously landscaped gardens, a testament to a life adorned with beauty. Venturing into the mansion's inner sanctum is akin to stepping into an opulent dream. Rooms, vast and expansive, unveil a tapestry of sophistication, a symphony of design curated with impeccable taste. A palette dominated by champagne hues casts an aura of timeless elegance, where every corner whispers of refined luxury. Yet, the grandeur of this mansion transcends the ordinary, for within its lavish walls lie exclusive domains found only in homes of such immense proportions. Behold a private bowling alley, where strikes and spares unfold in an atmosphere of indulgence. Enter a theater room, adorned with plush armchairs, promising cinematic adventures in unparalleled comfort. As one traverses the sprawling expanse of this comedian's colossal estate, it becomes evident that it is a realm of its own, boasting a staggering 32,000 square feet of floor space. Eleven palatial bedrooms stand as regal retreats, accompanied by an astonishing 17 exquisite bathrooms, each a testament to opulence unparalleled. The exterior of this mansion is a veritable Eden, where a resplendent pool, embraced by a soothing hot tub, beckons to those seeking solace in aquatic serenity. Vast swaths of lush, green grass stretch into the horizon, a testament to a life where space knows no limits. To fathom the cost of this architectural marvel is to grasp the magnitude of luxury Eddie Murphy calls home. Initial investments are estimated at a staggering $20 million, a price tag that pales in comparison to its current valuation, soaring to a princely $40 million. New Jersey Mansion Amidst the tapestry of Eddie Murphy's real estate portfolio, there once existed a mansion bearing the whimsical moniker, Bubble Hill, a name that danced in harmony with one of his own lyrical creations. Nestled within the serene confines of Inglewood, New Jersey, this colossal residence sprawled over a vast expanse of nearly four acres, cocooned in nature's loving embrace. As one ventured through the grand entrance, a magnificent staircase stood as a gateway to an interior that can only be described as a symphony of extravagance. Each room whispered tales of opulence, 
a testament to a life where grandeur knew no bounds. A private cinema awaited, promising cinematic enchantment at every turn, a piano room echoed with melodies yet to be composed, while a professional recording studio offered a canvas for musical genius. Entertainment thrived in every corner, from the games room adorned with a regal pool table to the indoor swimming pool, accompanied by a seductive hot tub. Culinary delights unfolded in the gourmet kitchen, where state-of-the-art appliances played their part in crafting culinary masterpieces. A dining room, resplendent with a table fit for 14 esteemed guests, hosted gatherings of epic proportions. The mansion's luxuries extended even to the realm of automobiles, with a capacious garage embracing five prized vehicles. And for those seeking a touch of nostalgia and recreation, an automated bowling alley, complete with two pristine lanes, awaited its enthusiasts. In total, this sprawling haven of luxury spanned a staggering 25,000 square feet, partitioned into a multitude of over 32 rooms, including six sumptuous bedrooms and more than 10 resplendent bathrooms. Yet, as legends go, so do their properties, and Eddie Murphy, in 2012, passed the torch of Bubble Hill to none other than the illustrious songstress Alicia Keys. Speculation swirled that the transaction danced in the realm of $12 million, a price that mirrored the majesty of this captivating mansion's legacy. Granite Bay Mansion In the era when Eddie Murphy's life intertwined with that of the renowned model Nicole Mitchell, their shared domicile was nothing short of an extravagant masterpiece nestled in Granite Bay, California. It wasn't just a house, it was a sprawling testament to opulence, a palace that whispered tales of grandeur from the very moment its facade came into view. A mere glimpse of its exterior hinted at the exquisite treasures concealed within its walls, tantalizing the imagination. Stepping through the imposing main door, one was greeted by a vast and exquisite living room, a space that breathed elegance with its double-height ceiling and floor-to-ceiling windows that ushered in an abundance of natural light. Although the mansion's origins traced back to 1998, it bore no signs of aging, proudly displaying a décor so sumptuous that it transcended the bounds of time, forever ensconced in sophistication. The interior of this enchanting estate encompassed an impressive 12,600 square feet, housing seven resplendent bedrooms and an astonishing 11 sprawling bathrooms. But it wasn't just the sheer size that left an indelible mark, it was the inclusion of captivating spaces that truly set it apart. A game room, adorned with an array of arcade machines, invited laughter and competition. A fully equipped weight room stood as a testament to dedication, while a cinema room beckoned with plush armchairs, promising cinematic adventures in unparalleled comfort. Yet, it was the outdoors that truly enchanted, a realm where nature and luxury harmoniously converged. An inviting guest house awaited visitors, standing as a haven of hospitality. A sports court invited recreation, while a barbecue area promised culinary delights al fresco. And then, there was the crown jewel and expansive infinity pool, where waters stretched to the horizon, accompanied by a beguiling hot tub, inviting relaxation amid a mesmerizing vista. Intriguingly, Eddie Murphy eventually bid farewell to this wonderland in 2007, parting ways with the property for a reported sum of $6 million. An intriguing juxtaposition when one considers the lavish abundance that this estate unfailingly delivered. Beverly Hills Mansion In the 1980s, Eddie Murphy added yet another gem to his illustrious real estate collection. Nestled in the opulent embrace of Beverly Hills, California, this property emerged as a symbol of transformation over time, evolving into an awe-inspiring 14-acre haven. Today, this sprawling domain boasts a magnificent 20,000-square-foot main house, its facade adorned with a living tapestry of a vertical garden that dances with life. A Moroccan-style guesthouse, spanning an impressive 7,000 square feet, stands as an epitome of exquisite design. But the true marvel of this estate lies in its equestrian splendor, where a meticulously planned stable caters to five majestic horses. Brick walls lend rustic charm to a living area that echoes with equine tales. Just beyond, a riding arena basks in the refreshing embrace of a cascading waterfall, a natural symphony of tranquility. And, for those who appreciate the grace of racket and ball, a tennis court awaits, complete with a spectator's enclave. Yet, history weaves its own narratives, and this grand complex once played host to none other than the iconic pop singer, Cher, who graced its halls from the mid-1970s until 1988. It was then that Eddie Murphy, the maestro of transformation, took the reins, infusing new life into the property through renovation and expansion. Seven years later, the baton of ownership was passed again, but not before leaving an indelible mark. 
and today, the echoes of its value resonate in truly spectacular fashion. A staggering $90 million, an astonishing testament to the power of time, transformation, and the allure of real estate legacies. Cars. When it comes to the world of automobiles, Eddie Murphy's penchant for comfort and luxury is nothing short of legendary. Picture him in a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, a car renowned not only for its performance but for the theatrical flair of its gull-wing doors. With an engine that can whisk it from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in a mere three seconds. This vehicular masterpiece commands a price tag that can soar above a staggering $220,000, a ride fit for a star. But the parade of opulence doesn't end there. The discerning eye has caught Eddie Murphy behind the wheel of an Aston Martin DB9, a sports car that revels in its reputation as a pinnacle of luxury and power. Recent models, adorned with cutting-edge features, can easily command a princely sum exceeding $250,000. Stepping into the realm of Italian finesse, Murphy has graced the streets in a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, a breathtaking testament to speed and style. Fueled by a robust V12 engine, it stands as one of the swiftest offerings from the famed Italian sports car manufacturer, with a price that soars north of $300,000. And then, there's the Rolls-Royce Wraith, a luxury car that wraps its occupants in an aura of regal splendor. Valued at around $350,000, it's a vehicle that whispers of aristocracy with every graceful turn of its wheels. However, the crown jewel in Eddie Murphy's automotive collection emerges in the form of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a magnificent convertible crafted for true tycoons. Its interior exudes opulence with an exquisite finish, a foregone conclusion in a car of this caliber. Yet, to bask in the embrace of such unparalleled luxury, one might find themselves contemplating an investment of around half a million dollars, depending on the year personal life. The digital landscape, where many choose to share their lives, bears few traces of his presence, a testament to his desire for privacy. Yet, the shadows cast by fame do little to obscure the fact that Eddie Murphy is a father to ten children, each a testament to different chapters in his life's narrative. Five of his beloved offspring bear the legacy of Nicole Mitchell, a union that once stood as the cornerstone of his personal life. A daughter with Melanie Brown, a son with Paulette McNeely, and another with Tamara Hood, each represent their own unique tale. And then, there are two more, fruits of a relationship with Paige Butcher, his current fiancé, forming a familial tapestry woven from love, connections, and shared experiences. The sheer breadth of his paternal responsibilities has inevitably given rise to complexities, with alimony payments reaching as high as $50,000 per month, a testament to the financial intricacies that accompany such a prolific family. Among the chapters of love and companionship that grace his history, the only marriage Eddie Murphy has known was to Nicole Mitchell, a union that spanned a remarkable 13 years until their separation in 2006. Their parting echoed with the weight of a reported $15 million divorce settlement, a testament to the interplay of love and finance in the lives of the famous. Excessive luxuries. A connoisseur of fine style, he adorns his wrist with timepieces that seem almost otherworldly in their beauty and value. Picture him sporting a Cartier Santos Gold, a masterpiece valued at a cool $10,000, or a Rolex Day date 1803, which commands a princely $15,000. The Cartier Pasha, resplendent at $20,000, and the Cartier Tank Francaise paved diamonds, bedecked with a price tag of $35,000, both speak to his penchant for luxury. Yet, it's the Rolex Day date yellow gold, gleaming at $55,000, and the Ronda Cartier, a symbol of extravagance at $70,000. That truly set him apart. And then there's the crowning jewel, the Rolex Day Date White Gold Diamond, valued at an astounding $90,000, a watch that seems to transcend time itself. But luxury doesn't confine itself to timepieces alone, for Eddie Murphy finds solace on the open sea, a world where relaxation takes on a whole new dimension. Yachts, those vessels of unparalleled opulence, have borne witness to his leisurely pursuits. A man of such refined taste, it comes as no surprise that he is the proud owner of a private island. Rooster Kay, sprawling across more than 15 acres of pristine paradise near Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. This picturesque retreat entered his possession in 2008, a transaction that carried the weight of approximately $17 million. Net worth. As he embarked on the iconic Saturday Night Live, his initial compensation was a modest $4,500 per episode a sum that mirrored his budding fame. Yet, as his star ascended, 
cited his earnings, soaring to an impressive $30,000 the following year. From that point forward, Eddie Murphy's financial trajectory mirrored his meteoric rise in the film industry. For his role in 48 Hours, he commanded an estimated $200,000, while Best Defense saw him pocket a cool $1 million. Coming to America marked a turning point with a staggering $8 million. Beverly Hills Cop catapulted him further, netting a princely $14 million. The Nutty Professor followed suit with $16 million and Dr. Doolittle raised the bar to $17,500,000. Pluto Nash pushed the envelope to $20 million and Nutty Professor 2 inches propelled him to an astonishing $60 million. Yet, it was in lending his voice to the beloved character Donkey in the Shrek franchise that Eddie Murphy found another lucrative dimension. Adding up all the films from the series, he amassed nearly $20 million. But the reservoir of wealth didn't stop there. In 2019, news broke that Eddie Murphy was inking a deal with Netflix worth an astounding $70 million, a testament to the enduring allure of his talent. This wealth, a testament to his artistic prowess, is fueled by the colossal financial returns his films generate. Eddie Murphy stands as one of the highest grossing actors in film history, with a cinematic portfolio that has collectively raked in over $7 billion worldwide. While the exact tally of his net worth remains a closely guarded secret, some sources estimate that, at the pinnacle of his 62 years, Eddie Murphy commands an estimated net worth surpassing $400 million. As we delve into the tapestry of Eddie Murphy's financial success, we find ourselves traversing a journey of fame, fortune, and the incredible heights achieved through laughter and talent. A tale that began with modest beginnings has unfolded into an epic narrative of artistic triumph, making Eddie Murphy a legend of comedy and cinema.